Um, so uh, I wanted to show you what we're working on with our um, plant markers. So um, these things are being very, very popular on Etsy and uh, uh, online and in Pinterest uh, and so forth. They are uh, herb markers. So you basically stick them in your uh, herb herb markers, not herb markers, herb markers. You stick them in your plants. And uh, I am currently making uh, a whole range of them for various different um plants etc so i'm going to show you how i'm doing that in illustrator a lot of you have asked for uh, more illustrator related things so let me just make illustrator bigger all right and can i just share can i just share illustrator on its own I can. There you go. So now you should be able to see my Illustrator screen. And you'll see I've got a few of these um, already uh, worked out. So uh, first of all, I'm going to show you how I made um, how I made the stick part and then how I'm attaching the text uh, to the stick. OK, so let's start with the, uh, the stick part first of all. Um, uh, we're going to literally just grab a rectangle and I've been making these 0 0.4 inches wide by five and a half uh, inches tall plus the pointy bit on the end. So um, there we go. That's about five and a half, 0 0.4 wide. Okay. And then we're going to draw a triangle and we do that with the polygon tool and we set the polygon tool to be three sides and there it is and we're going to flip that over so we're going to go to object transform reflect and uh, flip that so that it is horizontal and now it's pointing down okay we're going to then grab that point and uh, stick it on the bottom of our of our plant marker and make it the same size and make it less pointy okay and then we're going to take these two shapes so the, the rectangle and the triangle we're going to select them both we can do that by holding down shift and selecting them both or by dragging our mouse over the two uh, like so and once we've got them both we're going to go to the pathfinder and we are going to merge those shapes together and so now this shape is one shape with a pointy bit on the end i don't like the fact that it has um, sharp edges although it obviously needs to stick into the ground it doesn't need to stick into um, <laughs> somebody's finger so we're then going to take the um, shape editor and you see this little dot that appears and we're going to drag that up just a slight bit and that's going to give us a nice rounded point. It's also going to have made our top rounded as well. Now the more we pull that in, the more rounded it's going to be and you'll see that the top is now a nice rounded shape. Next we're going to go ahead and grab some text. So we grab the text tool and we're going to type our um, uh, uh, plant name so we're going to do um, uh, let's do uh, parsley uh, let's spell it right as well because it's always good to uh, spell it correctly and so now we've got parsley and we're going to rotate that 90 degrees and we do that by holding down shift and then dragging our item round holding down shift means it's going to jump in 45 degree increments we can then make this bigger and I'm holding down uh, shift to keep that uh, text in proportion we want it slightly bigger than that okay and then the other thing is that I've used lowercase letters here and obviously lowercase letters aren't necessarily uh, all going to sit on the same lines so this I uh, this R <laughs> I should learn my letters uh, this uh, Y is um, obviously going to um, not work so we're going to do it in uh, in capitals only okay and once we've done that we're going to move our text so it's just 
touching the uh, or, or overlapping our shape that we made. The last thing that we need to do is turn these into objects. And we do that by going to type and then create outlines, or we can press shift command and O and it will do it for us. And now all of these shapes are outlines rather than text. So we can't edit it. If we realize we made a mistake uh, with the spelling, we'd have to start again at this point. Now we're gonna select all of the items or the letters and our little sticky thing. And we're gonna go back to the uh, Pathfinder tool. And again, we're going to unite all of those together. And by uniting them together, it means that they're now all one piece. So when we cut this out of acrylic or wood or um, whatever medium you're gonna be using for these, it's going to mean that um, you have the whole, um, uh, you have the whole thing uh, as as one. So uh, let me show you, uh, let me show you that what we that we made. So it's uh, wait, let me make sure it's the right way around for you. So then now this is part of the same thing. So all we're going to then do is save this as a, a PDF or an SVG file. Stick it into the Glowforge and cut it out of our um, our medium. And that's how easy it is to make. Um, herb markers or plant markers. Hope that helps.